welcome back to the videos and welcome to the first proper day up north. I'm in between Durham and Newcastle at the moment, staying with the guys from Atticus, got a bit of work done this morning and now I'm headed to their office. Luckily, the wind's died down a bit because yesterday was ridiculous. I don't think I would have got here. How are you? What do you think of my new offensively large sunglasses? It's, it's probably best that I don't put them on though because then they, they won't be cool. Because my tiny face, they'll they'll look like they'll look like they like wrap around. You sure you want to do this? Yeah. I'm gonna ruin it for everyone. No, you won't. No one's gonna want to buy them after I put them on. Nah, they look cool. Do they? Yeah. They don't. They look do cool. They really? 100. They, they're wicked. They are, they are cool. They're sunglasses not, they're have been getting, sunglasses have been getting bigger and bigger by the year. But my face hasn't. That's the problem. <laughs> More protein. Bulk it up. Did you sanitize them first? Well, I'm not a centimeter away from you, man. We live together. Centimeter. A centimetre, is that what I said? I don't know, you said a something mil northern. A millimetre. <laughs> <laughs> he put some tails on. They look alright on my head, mate. That's the big announcement for today. Sun God have come on as a new sponsor of the channel. They've released these new glasses and some others as well. These ones are the Vulcans. I'll put a link down below if you want to check them out, but they're like fully customizable. This bottom bit comes off so you can have a better field of view if you're racing. And uh, yeah, any color in the world. Maybe not any color, but a lot of colors. You should really invent something that like does this for you. What, take measure winding? <laughs> I think they actually have already have that, don't they? What's new in the world of Atticus? I haven't been here for ages. I know. This office. New Jersey signs and bib shorts this year. We added this blue one to the cycle squad range and then the orange to orange, not yellow. This is one of our special edition ones. So we released a number of special editions this year. Would you have a skin suit off? Oh, uh, we have a completely new jersey this year. Um, this is our adventure jersey, which is completely stripped back, no pockets, kind of very much t-shirt style but with technical fabrics. So the idea of So it doesn't of it, smell. Yes, exactly. It yeah. doesn't smell, it's more breathable. Just cut for a bike position a little bit more. People's riding has started being a lot more fluid. People who are very kind of like pure road cyclists, obviously gravel's a lot more prevalent now. Carrying kit on bikes instead, so you like bike bags um, and want to sort of free up your person a little bit more. These are rather cool um, wash bags that we send out all of our um, orders in now. So we used to do a drawstring. Basically the idea was how can we provide packaging that you know protects the clothing and looks nice when it arrives but is actually something useful. You can get custom boxes and bags and stuff made but ultimately it's a single use item that goes in the bin straight away. So it's how can we make our packaging more useful so that ultimately it's more sustainable and more user friendly I guess. So wash bags generally are actually really good for washing your clothing in so each time you wash any sort of clothing not just bike kit um, the fibers in it shed and the more that happens the more it just kind of breaks down over time so it's why for very delicate stuff you have to wash it at like low temperatures and with non-bio. Wash bags generally help stop fiber shedding so because they're not getting like ragged around as much but also this one is particularly good because it has very 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 tight weave in it this is actually the same sort of material that they use in like posh tea bags basically means that all of those fibers are actually caught and they stay inside the bag um, because most clothing also actually contains plastic. If that plastic isn't contained in something, it washes away into your drains and then obviously like in the ocean and that kind of thing. So this keeps it inside the bag and then you can dispose of it properly at the end. Also, because it l limits the amount of fibers that are shed, just generally you are releasing less yeah. plastic. So. Also good because I have 4,000 drawstring bags at home. Yes. I don't want any more. What is that? Chris wore this jersey when he did the Atlas Mountains race. I wouldn't touch it if I were you. No. I it mean, might, it might be kind of stuff it's fine. Away. It's just, you see the pictures there, all of the dirt was like really, really red. And it's just, that's just a lot of days of wear. We do actually have a couple of massive frames. <laughs> so kind of like, well, we'll see if we can frame it and make it look good. I might get around to doing that one day. You can't come to the northeast without trying. Peace pudding. Peace pudding. Peace pudding. I thought it was peas. It is peas. But it's got an E on the end. It's like in the Oliver Twist song, isn't it? Peace, sir. <laughs> I want some peace pudding. Peace pudding and saveloys. Um, <laughs> tastes a lot it's better. It's so like you put so much on. Not very many calories in it. It doesn't smell bad anymore. No. It smelled bad when you opened the thing. Tastes with peas. Mm, nice. Actually, all right. Mm. Mm, nice. So yeah, 
We are actually doing some riding on this trip. Managed to avoid the rain, sun's come out. Absolutely beautiful. Bit of road, bit of gravel. I have no idea where we are, so I'm probably gonna have to ask them. What's the route today then? Um, Jimmy, what's the route? <laughs> I can see now why gravel bikes exist, because around here, you, this is actually gravel. I mean, look, it's gravelly and it's not mountain bike single track. That's what we're lacking around London. I'm sure you could link a few routes together if you really tried, but a lot of what we do could use some suspension. So for some context, all of these paths are former um, railway lines that we used to transport coal. So they run kind of right the way around the northeast and they all connect up and all run out to the coast. So it's the reason that a lot of them are fairly smooth. There's not that much elevation in, the foot, uh, elevation in them because they would be all like the wagon ways for the coal. This is usually where we stop and there's normally cows in here. We give them a little, a little tickle. Where are they? Probably been slaughtered. Moo. What did you say? He said, hello. What did you say? Hello. Hey, Jimmy. Hello. You all right, mate? Yeah, I'm good. What? Where are we? We're on the greatest gravel road in the entire country. The what? The greatest gravel road in the entire country. It might be a bit windy and it is slightly uphill. It's going to be 60 kph all the way home. Look at this, beautiful, beautiful. Nice little break, top of the climb. Best gravel road all the way back. Downhill, tailwind, perfect. I feel so blessed and fortunate to be able to like live so close to this. Nice little segregated bike path to cruise back on. Need some dinner now. Camera's about to run out of battery. It's so cold. Why, am I, why did I put it ice side down? Oh God, I can't handle it. Help me. No. Help me. <laughs> no. I haven't got any hands. I'm not your spare hands. You will freeze instantly. I'm, I'm actually reading the comments on your video. Are you? It's lovely, isn't it? Are people being nice to you? Yeah, it's nice. Like the people which know us, loads of people are say, you know, like saying it's nice to see us again. Yeah. And the people that don't know us are like, oh, cool, C cool guys, nice kitchen. It's a nice kitchen. Shit garden. Yeah, don't look at the garden. Do we ever tell you the story about the garden? No. Why it's so bad? Is it a good story? It's a long, it's a, it's it's a horrible a story. story. It's really long. It's not worth it telling. What's a better story? Dinner's ready. Don't film my hair. Well, editing time for me. As always, thank you so much for watching today's video. Please like, please subscribe, and I'll see you guys tomorrow for some more ride action, maybe in the rain. Bye for now.